million dollar homes boston versus coastal virginia just how far does your dollar go and i've selected four areas of boston that according to my research people have said over and over and over again that they absolutely love and then i have compared that to coastal virginia to four areas i know that you will absolutely adore if you're considering the move here but seven figure budget let's talk about it now, first up, we are on 38 Fenway. This is a highly desirable area, and this place sold not that long ago for $3.15 million. Now, seven bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms, 6,200 square foot. This is a monster of a home and one of the most desired areas of all Boston. But what has really surprised me is the interior in the condition. The kitchen looks like something out of a $500,000, 500 square foot place there in Boston, and is not reminiscent of anything that has the beauty or prestige that this area commands. These are huge rooms, but you can see that even the paint on the wall has rippled here making me think that there's probably a leak there somewhere along the flashing of the chimney. Now this, when it was originally built, probably was a true masterpiece. The woodwork around the stairwell is really something special. The brickwork on the exterior is beautiful. The limestone is gorgeous. But for 3.1, I cannot believe the condition this is in. So if you were to make the transition over into coastal Virginia, I would recommend you check out Chicks Beach. This place is on the water at $2.3 million, six bedrooms, five baths, and 4,600 square foot. This is a gem of a property and your dollar goes a lot further here. Check out that metal roof, tons of space, bays of windows everywhere, and you have views from these two different platforms that you get to enjoy all of that oceanfront. The only thing that could possibly be added to this would be a pool. But look at the sunsets and sunrises that you get to see here. The great room is just that great with wonderful stone fireplace going all the way up to the ceiling. An updated and upgraded kitchen with ceiling tall cabinets and a custom refrigerator. A massive laundry suite and that kitchen dining room table shows exactly what you're getting when you get into a property of this level. I love the flooring selection that they have here and I think it's a particularly good touch when they use wire on the lower section of the handrail here so you have unobstructed views of the beach. And a massive soaker tub and shower is a fantastic point to have in the master ensuite. The only thing I will pick on is that the photos here are super lackluster. You know I am a stickler for that stuff. I do love that you have a indoor elevator so that if you were to come here and needed to stay here in place for years to come, you could have grandmother come live with you or you could stay here till your last days. Plenty of entertainment space. You got bunk beds for the kids and a master shared bathroom, Jack and Jill. I love that they've carried the floor onto every single level and you have a gorgeous, awesome outdoor entertainment space. And this shows off exactly why you would move into Czech Beach here in the garage. You have the golf cart, which allows you to go all the places into the neighborhood, down to the beach, and maybe even to a local restaurant. Next up, we are in Beacon Hill of Boston. Now, here in the West End, 3941 Mount Vernon. This is a highly desirable area. $5 million reflects that. Three bedrooms, three and a half baths, and 3,400 square foot. Now, what's really special here is you have 24-hour concierge, 13-foot ceilings. This is a very unique, very high-end property in this area specific location. The flooring and decorations, interior design, super tall ceilings, and even the AC vents are something that is bespoke. I love these arched windows. They are gorgeous. You have a very high-end custom kitchen with a waterfall edge that is just beautiful and modern and sleek. The stairwell is beautiful. The master ensuite with its own fireplace is gorgeous. And check out this bedroom that master shower is crazy nice wall to ceiling tile everywhere with an enormous soaker tub and the walk-in closet here with the custom woodwork is gorgeous i'll let some of these photos speak for themselves but i'm telling you five million dollars for 3400 square foot i guess you have to have a very unique client that really wants to be in this area to pay that much money to live in this area and that 24 hour 
concierge comes at a cost of $5,500 a month. So if we go over to Coastal Virginia, I wanted to pick something that I thought would be unique and special. It sold this last year in Little Neck on the water of the Lynn Haven River. 3338 Eagles Nest Point is a gorgeous property. $4.2 million, five bedrooms, five baths, and 5,500 square foot. You get a little more space. You're not up on top of your neighbors. You get a massive garage and you have waterfront views everywhere. So on two massive acres, a custom built home in 2019, let's take a look at these photos and why this is something that I think you would absolutely have to consider if you're moving here. The front elevation is gorgeous. And as you enter into the front door, you have a custom lighting system here into the foyer or foyer if you want to say it that way, into the great room with two story tall windows letting in tons of natural lighting. The trim package alone in this place is gorgeous and I love the custom lighting in the coffered ceiling. Open floor plan for plenty of entertaining and the kitchen in here is something of a chef's dream. The pantry alone has custom cabinetry and the outdoor space for entertaining is crazy nice with the outdoor kitchen being something that I would spend all of my time around. And I feel like if I add any words to this primary ensuite with the bathroom and the closet, I'm just going to detract from it. So I'll let the photos speak for themselves. And these guest bathrooms are just as nice as some of the custom bathrooms that are in places at price points at like seven and $800,000. The outdoor space continued out onto the custom stone and pool. This is a gorgeous spot. If I was going to pick a place to live in Hampton Roads for the remaining of my life, this is something I would consider. Hey, do you have a seven figure budget and you're looking to make a move to the coastal Virginia and you need a real estate resource of choice? We would love to be that for you. I run the real estate team. My wife runs the mortgage team and you can get a hold of us below in the description or jump directly into our calendars with that link below. Over into South Boston, $3.5 million, seven bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, and 3,800 square foot. Now at 3.5, it's gonna look beautiful inside. And this is a sweet location here in Boston. I hope uh, King does a really good job of showing off the 3D Google map here, and maybe some photos of the exterior. Look at the floors here in the kitchen. Beautiful. I love the waterfall edge. That is something that I think has got to stay within modern architecture. I think it's gorgeous. And then the custom paneled refrigerator with the pools, I think is a really nice touch. I love accent walls like these. I think it adds a, a really a texture to the space that is just drywall cannot pull off. Whoever the interior designer here is, did an exceptional job picking out colors and textures and pieces and hardware. Kudos to you. And you guys hired a fantastic photographer. I think they did an amazing job showing off this unique and special property. Now this touch here in the hallway, I think is something very special. I love having a reading nook right here on the, to the turn of the stairwell. I think that's a cool touch. Every bathroom here looks beautiful. You have a little bar here and the exterior entertainment space is something really special. 760 East Broadway, well done. So if I was going to pick a location in Virginia Beach that is something really special and unique, 4080 Harlow Street is something that you would absolutely have to consider. You are on the lawn of the Cavalier, one of the most unique and bespoke hotels of the entire area. You are walking distance to the distillery and the hunt room that is right there, and you have access to some of the best amenities that the entire area can provide. $4.8 million, four bedrooms, five and a half baths, and 6,000 square foot. You have to consider this. Look at all of the stonework, the beautiful lawn there, all of the patio on the exterior with one-off and custom hardwoods that are gonna last for years and years. Detail after detail here, which really shows off what this builder can pull off. The stone, the shiplap, the built-ins, everything here screams bespoke and one off. There's nothing else like it. And this shot of the stairwell, I think shows off a unique perspective that not many people look at, but is a very, very unique architectural design. In the kitchen with the coffered ceilings and custom lighting package is something really special. This is a kitchen that you would absolutely dream about, fall asleep and wake up wanting to cook breakfast and lunch and dinner and host and have people over to gawk and awe at what you have. The primary suite, I am gonna let these photos do the talking. It's gorgeous. Custom gutters throughout. Every single bathroom here is bespoke and beautiful. And the tile that they have selected is something really, really nice. 
Last up, we are in Charleston, 50 Baldwin Street, $2.6 million, five bedrooms, four and a half baths, and 3,500 square foot. The exterior elevation is beautiful. I love the doors here and the stones above the archway and the windows shows off the craftsmanship that has just been there for year after year. The hardwood floors on the entrance are absolutely gorgeous. Tall ceilings, crown molding everywhere, really beautiful with unique crystal chandeliers throughout. I do like that they show off some of these details on the handrails. These were probably hand turned and carved. The kitchen is something that is really something special. The granite here looks like a unique piece that the owner probably had custom picked out. It is a little bit of a narrow building, but every single room and bathroom in here is something very special. And I love, love, love these built-ins in the reading area. You do have an exterior here that allows for some entertainment. Really the only major downside here, if you're taking a look at the street view, is how narrow the parking is and access to the building. But this is pretty normal in Charleston for $2.6 million. The last house I have picked out for you is in Sandbridge, probably one of the most sought after vacation markets and secondary home markets of all of Virginia Beach. There is one road in really and one road out and the only people that are there are vacationers and locals. There are no hotels in this area, which means that the beaches are selected only for those that are staying there. For $2.2 million, you get eight bedrooms, eight and a half baths and 3,800 square foot. Most of these homes that are built out like this are made to be vacation homes so that you can invite multiple people down, family and friends, and stay there for the entire week and enjoy a vacation in silence. You are one row off of the oceanfront, and this home is gorgeous with a custom pool so that when you get burnt out on the sand and you don't wanna be in the salt water anymore, you can come back and spend the time in some fresh water. The exterior photos here are absolutely gorgeous and show how secluded it's going to feel the photography here is really, really nice. I love the selections that the interior designer has picked for this house. A lot of these homes that sell down here come furnished, so make sure that you talk to your agent about that. The kitchen is custom throughout. I love the lighting that they have selected. The bunk beds that are built into this space are really cool. I love the just exorbitant use of shiplap, the built-in cabinets around the fireplace, the seating. This is a really beautiful home. Now what you'll find usually on the first floor of these places is that you'll have a game room, which is super awesome so that you can have the adults maybe upstairs playing cards and the kids downstairs playing video games. Some of them come with an arcade, but you also have pool and sometimes ping pong or foosball down here. The majority of the rooms are gonna have an ensuite to themselves. So if you are inviting guests, they will have their own bathrooms. And I really like this touch right here with a double washer and double dryer, because if you're gonna come here and spend every day at the beach with all of these people, you're gonna do a lot of laundry. Check out that view from the deck. You get to see the oceanfront every single morning. So with a seven figure budget, looking at Boston versus coastal Virginia, you tell me where does the money go?